Fuck, quit fucking around. Jesus, guys. I know you didn't make it past junior high, but it doesn't mean you have a sense of humor. You need to stop there, too. Here we go. Here. Okay. It's a raising RFP, you big man, man. Oh, hell, what is your problem, man? I got an email from my ex-wife detailing just that. Oh, shit. You can't read. Fuck you. What are we fucking done here? He's good. Good week. It's a good year. A couple of years. Many more. You do good work. Thank you, boss. But I got a good crew, you know? Good guys. Got lucky there. What? No. What? I mean, I can't just roll in the air and take You think you can get in the crew you got is just luck? No, I... I'm just saying the job would be a whole lot harder if I wasn't working with earners. Did they ever give you trouble? One ounce. Why? Were they afraid of you? <laughs> Hardly. They're afraid of the big man. Not fear. Respect. And a healthy dose of fear. Fear is a poor motivator. Can't expect someone to perform well when they're under constant stress. Show a man the proper respect, he'll work twice as hard. You respect Jimmy right out of the six-story window, right? Young James got exactly the respect he deserved. <laughs> he was a putz. How about it, Sean? Perfect example. Yeah. Sean here. Sean isn't tempted by drink, or drugs, or women. Sean is steady. Sean is reliable. Sean? You a robot? Sean is the perfect man for his job. That's why I picked him for his job. Not because he's your nephew. Everyone who works for me does so for a reason. However you do it, thank you. Do you know why I picked you? Sparkling personality. Stunning intellect. Roguish charm. Sense of humor. Your general disdain for other human beings coupled with your complete lack of any real ambition makes you perfect for middle management. Ouch. You know it's true. <laughs> You're not wrong. Most men as intelligent as you wouldn't be content taking orders, and a more empathetic man wouldn't be comfortable giving orders. Well, lucky for me, I've got no moral compass. Otherwise, my career options would be limited to what? Uh, Manager of Best Buy. In with the luck! Fuck luck! Everything is what it is because someone had it up here and down here to make it so. And everyone else didn't. They just let him do it. Or they tried to fight him, but were too weak. He won. They lost. Understand? Yeah. Sure, boss. Come in here. Talk to me about fucking luck. You're sitting in that chair because I made it so. And that is exactly why I picked you. Know thyself.
It's okay if I go back out there. What? Nothing. It's just... Oh, Christ, come on, what? It's just... Respectfully. I don't know how well any man can know any. I mean, do we ever really know what's going on up here? I know enough. <laughs> People are fucked up, boss. Strange shit. Trust but verify, right? I know. You know. So you know Sean over here. So there's no chance that Sean would say, uh, I don't know, put a bullet in your head and run up with that stack of cash. No. Not a chance. And that's a lot of money there. It's life change. Right there. No chance. All right. You don't think so? You think Sean would betray me for that? I think Sean is the last motherfucker to do anything outside the program. But yeah, I think even Mr. Robot here is capable of surprising him. Never. Thank you, boss. All right. I'll prove it. Take it. It's okay. Take it. I don't want to. Take the fucking gun, Sean. Okay? Pull the trigger. It's all yours. I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> of course not. Now, Sean may have the personality of potato soup, minus a potato. He's not stupid. So what? Sean goes pow, and then what happens? Dumb and dumber come barging through the door, guns are blazing. Probably kill us all. Tracy. Come here, bring Schaefer with you. It's okay, just both of you get in here now. Sean? No. I knew he was going to say that. It's good to keep a clear head. Right? Big decision. Come in! Yeah, boss. Give me your guns. Are you kidding? Come on now! Conducting a little experiment. Marin here doesn't believe I know the people working for me. I didn't say that. I just said that... He thinks that Sean, my own sister's baby boy, would kill me for what? Come on, how much what? Four hundred and five. No, Jesus fuck, Sean. Not just Marin's cut. I mean the whole thing. Two point two. Two million. 246,538. No sense? <laughs> Thank you. Marin thinks that Sean would murder his dear old uncle for 2.2 .2 million dollars. I'm just saying, I think it's possible, that's all. And I say, impossible. Okay. What do you say, Sean? You gonna take it? Take what's mine, make it yours? Cock it. I'll do it. Cock the fucking gun, Sean. Pull the hammer back. Cock the fucking gun, Sean, or I'll shove it right up your ass, understand?
Point it at me. Oh, Tracy, stand down. Right at my head. Good boy. Now, here's your last chance. Put a big fucking bullet in my skull and take that there cash. Or put one in the rat fucking bastard who was gonna sell us out. Sean, calm down, okay? Motherfucker was talking to the police. He didn't think we'd caught on. What the fuck did you do that? You're right about one thing, Fitz. Sean couldn't bring himself to kill you. You're dead fucking wrong about me.